10 best Sadio Kamakai exclusives this year. Now I know what you're thinking, Connor, did you just post yesterday? Maybe, but you know, maybe I'll push back Sunday's video, but I want to get this out leading into Sandro Comic Con weekend because we now have a pretty much full list of all the exclusives and I went through it and these are the 10 I think are the best ones with a couple honorable mentions. There's no really particular order to these. So we'll kick it off with the rumored High Republic book. Now this one is the only one on the list that has been confirmed or announced, but there is this photo floating around and uh, there's going to be the Lucasfilm panel and there's going to be a series of panels going on. I don't know which panel room it is. I couldn't find that information. But I do know that Friday is the day for the High Republic panel uh, on Lucasfilm. And there's rumors that at the seats for only seated members, there will be one copy of a High Republic comic with a visual cover and, of course, and all that. Uh, ideally only printed to match the amount of seats in the room. So that's what the rumor is. We'll see if that comes true. Uh, the other one I had on here was Maze Spider-Man 2099, the Spider-Man Miles cover. This one's going to be really nice. The um, Francis Yu cover. And uh, I a lot of, hear a lot of guys already talking about this book, already trying to call people I know that are there and stuff like that. People are trying to, uh, I guess, get their copies. You know, and they, they, I think they're handing them out until Saturday. They're being distributed at the next big thing panel on Saturday. So you're only going to get it if you're at that panel. Same thing with the higher public thing where I think it's only by like how many people are at the, you know, seated there. So if, if you're going to be at Sadio Comic Con and watch this video, check out the next big thing panel on Saturday if you want to get your Francis U cover. Uh, next, I have the Frank Rosetta Tales of Science Fantasy number two on the list. It's not a Frank Rosetta cover. It is a uh, Gerald de Barge cover. And it's still a nice cover. I, I love the idea of the classic Frank Frazetta characters at Sato Comic Con. And this will be given out or being purchased at the Previews World booth, which is number uh, 2401. So 2401, booth number 2401 is the Previews World booth. And uh, they'll have the Frank Frazetta Tales of Science Fantasy. They'll also have a bunch of other great ones. The Blade one's going to be there, stuff like that. And my next one on the list here is X-Men Days of Future Past Doomsday number one, which uh, I love this cover. It's the uh, the Michael uh, Suwan cover, and it looks great. It's, it's pretty stellar. And the I think I like the black and white sketch design, maybe even better than the color version. Uh, but it, again, this will be at booth 2401. Um, then we have, we have a Campbell variant this year. You know, as we normally do, we got a Spider Man 25. It's a, you know, pretty decent cover. I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it, it's on par with other Campbell work. And, uh, you know, Campbell, I, I love a lot of his work. So this this is definitely a cool one. And you actually be there signing books at the signature booths, signature series booths, which is uh, 901 and 4515. Um, we'll have to check what dates. I think those are, those might be just for the drop offs for the books. So you might have to see. I don't know what the, the cutoff is for San Diego Comic Con. You know, they might be just intercepting. They're probably not. You're definitely not grading, but I don't know if he's even doing signing at the booth. But the Campbell booth, the James Guy Campbell booth, is 2029. So, again, if you're at Seattle Comic Con and you have the chance to go check out the Campbell booth, and maybe you want the ASM 25 cover, 2029 is the Campbell booth. Now, on to the Mandalorian. They're doing a the Mandalorian for Season 1 and Season 2, number 1s. They have several covers going on. I really love the one, which I actually I'm not sure whose variant this is. Where he's like, the, there's this great sketch where him in front of the, uh, you know, he's got Baby Yoda. He's, it's just a really cool cover. Now, the uh, there's a couple of them. They're, they're doing a couple of them. Now, um, the ones that really stood up to me besides that one was the Peach Momoko one. Because there's a, there's a regular, there is a uh, virgin, and then there's a sketch version of this that I kind of like. And there might be a black and white as well, but I think it's just regular. Uh, uh, the regular, the virgin, and the sketch. And uh, the sketch is pretty nice. So, uh, uh, you could buy these at Peach Momoko's booth, which is 5553. Five, 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 three. Three fives into three. So 5,553. And then Peach Momoko will be at 5557. Five, five, so a couple booths down the row. 5557 five, will be where Peach Momoko is there signing the books if you want to get your sign. I imagine if you get the copy, you probably want to get your signed. Hopefully there's not a big deal, big ordeal like there was a C, I believe it was C2E2, uh, where Peach Momoko, or was it, uh, New York Comic Con? Might have been New York Comic Con, Peach Momoko had uh, left being overwhelmed. 
Uh, so that one looks pretty good. And the, the, check out the Mellow Fellow cover for Zamo Comic Con. He's running whatnots all throughout the weekend. So make sure you check that out for his cover. And he, I just checked one out. He just sold the regular the regular trade dress and the Virgin for twenty eight dollars for the bundle. So you can be at home and you're, you can get a San Diego Comic Con trade dress and Virgin for twenty eight dollars. You should check out Mellow Fellow's streams. And he's also got other stuff going on selling there. So make sure you follow him on whatnot to make sure you catch the good deals. And now the seventh spot on here, and again, it's no particular order, is the Transformers number one. Now this book is not coming out until October. It's got a very similar cover, a little bit of a color change on the cover. Um, and it's got the Sano Comic-Con logo, of course. They're also doing a Void Rivals one, but I think Void Rivals is something to steer away from personally. And I think the Transformers one is going to be the one that kind of stands at least short term because it's not even out yet. But I have to October. So if you want to check either of those books out, they'll be at the Skybound booth, which is 3735. So a whole lot of booths at Sano Comic-Con. It's easy to forget and miss them. So you want to go back to the video. I have all the booths on here that I could find. Um, and then, of course... The number eight spot, we have the Alex Ross covers. Now, all of them are great. I'm a big Alex Ross guy. The, uh, Batman 135 is really stellar. The um, the Teen Titans classic cover, which he's done in the past uh, from the Teen Titans one from the you know the Prez run. Um, but the one I really do want to highlight is the Teen Titans number one, the, uh, the Starfire cover. It's a great cover. There's also another like sketch, semi-sketch version of this. Um, but it's very, it's got that, like, 70s hairdo vibe. It's great. It's honestly one of my favorite uh, Alex Ross covers in a while. Batman 135 is really good, too. He's just got a great highlight of, like, the 60s villains and 70s. More, more, more 60s. And then their designs and stuff like that. And so that was pretty cool. So Alex Ross booth is 2415. He's got that awesome wraparound, uh, immortal variant, you know, collection, uh, that you can go take pictures of in front of him and stuff like that. His booth looks awesome. Uh, check us out his Instagram if you're not going to be there to uh, see how awesome his his, his his Facebook his booth really looks. Now, if you're going to be there, you've got to check it out. And uh, let me know in the comments who all went to San Diego Comic Con because I'm curious what you guys picked up, what you guys found, what you guys saw, stuff like that. But on the, the number nine spot is the TMNT Stranger Things crossover. They're getting There's an original cover for San Diego Comic Con. Um... I believe they're going on issue two of that this week, but I believe this is for number one. And this will be handed out at the IDW booth, uh, 2729. 2729 is IDW booth. And on Saturday, Eastman will, Kevin Eastman will be there signing. There will be other people signing throughout the week and on Saturday. But specifically, Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, will be there, you know, signing on Saturday. So, if, again, if you could be there... Maybe shoot to see Kevin Eastman bring some books from the sign. That'd be very exciting. And then, you know, for the number 10 spot, I have some honorable mentions mentioned quickly afterwards. For the number 10 spot, I have the Yushagi Ojimbo, the Stan Sakai books, you know, the preview of the Ice and Snow book that's coming uh, later this year, I believe. And so he's got a regular and a black and white. They're all limited to 500 copies. So it's first come, first serve. You know, this is coming up Thursday morning, I think. So it's one of those things where you just got to... Hurry up. If you're going to be there, you want to get it. There might even be gone before Friday. So only 500 copies of the regular and the black and white version. Uh, this will be at the Dark Horse booth at 2615. There's also another Stan Sakai uh, cover for the uh, Team NNT crossover with Yusaki Yojimbo. I think it's for issue three or four, if I remember correctly. And it will be a foil variant. I don't know if it's limited to 500 or not, but I know that will be there as well. So keep an eye out for those. I think those are pretty cool. And I, I again, that's another one I've heard a little bit of buzz about. Guys are looking forward to scoop up there. And I know a couple of you already scooped some up or tried to scoop some out. I don't know if they've successfully done so. Uh, you know, there's a couple other ones. There's the Red Sionia anniversary cover with the Linzer cover. It was pretty nice looking. Of course, the Panther Comics exclusive for, you know, Panther Comics store in Turnersville, New Jersey. We have our own Ashley Wooder cover going on. That's the Red Sionia cover to look out for. Make sure you stop by the store. You reach out to us through DM on the Panther Comics Instagram or Facebook because we have, we don't, you only have so many and they're, they're pretty nice. It's, I believe it's actually Ashley Wooder's. Now don't quote me. It might be Ashley Wooder's first work since COVID. Um, I don't remember. I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't seen her do much since COVID. So and it's an awesome cover. You know, make sure you check that out. And of course, there's also the Blade number one at the Previous World and the Antarctica number one looks awesome. That's honestly one of the standout covers for me. Uh, a couple of the cool ones. So if you're seeing a Comic Con, let me know down below. You know, if there's which covers, even if you're not seeing a Comic Con, let me know which covers reach out to you. Which covers do you think are pretty cool? Which books do you think are going to be, you know, the standout? 
exclusives from this year going forward if you aren't already follow me here on facebook and instagram for more daily content i drop stuff every single day i've got multiple videos coming up a week uh here you know already like back-to-back -back videos this week there's um of course there's uh shorts going up two to three times a day i got news going on the news on the shorts i'll talk about new announcements and rumors and speculation and stuff like that uh you know and then i, I talk about you know i flipped through different books and did like one minute pitches on the shorts and then on you know instagram i do a thing called tales for the hunt where you know i talk about like actually going out and hunting their books not just the whole video that i put up on youtube but like people i ran into stories i have you know stuff like that and of course i post throughout instagram throughout the week all kinds of different stuff same thing on facebook I post on facebook throughout the week all kinds of different stuff in this Facebook group Phantoms Unleashed for more daily content we just post the, from me, you and others going on in there discussion posts behind the scenes look at Connors Comics polls for upcoming videos and all kinds of stuff so make sure you check that out for a behind the scenes look at Connors Comics and until next time all linked down in the description peace